All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. That settles the question of His Imperial Majesty's whereabouts. Does he aim to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows. Those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. And we've just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skelliger after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Can you teleport me onto Amir's ship? Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. Think they know we're here? Amir's mages? Of course. If the matter of Fringilla Vigo were resolved, they'd probably just send her over here in a skiff. It's far from resolved. The Emperor pledged to ensure the Lodge's safety, but... Fringilla's a pricklier matter. She's his subject. One officially sentenced to death for treason. You'll need to learn what Amir has planned for her, once we've found a way to toss you over to the Imperial flagship. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. A plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show His Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised and what he'll get in return. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the Mountain Elves could summon the vessels of the NL. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Gelban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Talus, please. Absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet she spurned him. Ahem. <laughs> that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. It won't hurt any of you to know this. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. What I want to know is if we'll be able to use the Sunstone. You? No. Me? Naturally. With a touch of help from the sorceresses. Of whom some are below deck vomiting, while others remain unreachable. The Sunstones in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven once. 
It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion. I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Kroch's longships are moored there. I'm off. Good luck. See? The black dogs in their rickety tubs? They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermion? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. <laughs> now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermion. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. Not he, nor that witch, Jennifer. Easier to sneak on board after dark.
skeletons. Huh? What for? Why? There's nothing here but crabs, The Witcher! Emperor's orders! Stand down! Witcher, what a pleasant surprise. Warm welcome. Thank you, your majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent, because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough of that. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've always liked that about her. Very well, so be it. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. Didn't answer my question. Nor must I. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her Dimeritian shackles. No introductions are necessary from what I've heard. Farewell. Fringilla, been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale, near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. And I despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. Gilla Vigo. Philippa, a pleasure as always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Yes, Geralt? You look good. For a captive of Emir, is that what you mean? Seems like he's shown you surprising leniency. No interrogations, no torture. Or did you just tell him everything he wanted to know? If I'd told him everything, he'd hardly still need me alive, wouldn't you say? Anyway, we shan't speak of it. I and what concerns me have not been a concern of yours for some time, huh? Cantarella. Who is she, really? She mentioned you knew each other. You ran into her. Her real name is Carthia van Canton, Asira's former collaborator. She's very... talented. Spied for you? Not just for us, probably. I doubt she wishes any harm upon me or other sorceresses, but one must be very careful what one says in her presence. Seemed like you told her quite a lot about me. You ought to feel flattered, then. That makes you famous on both banks of the Yoruga. 
So long. Get tired, huh? Did you sever his head? Head of a giant. I'll not kneel before an oncrite, never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner write the rights of bleeding more hog than let crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Jarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. What would you call it if not treason? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! I rip you!
See no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Mean and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crocs blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kertrolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. Ha! <laughs> an agreement? Only Croc believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? How's Ceres handling things? As the makings of an excellent queen, if she would only flee her father's shadow. Everyone, Lugas accepted, declared their support for her. Yet the minute the Imperial fleet appeared on the horizon, the Jarl took matters into his own hands. And Yalmar? And the lads led three raids against the Imperial fleet, all against Krak's will, all failed. Uh, yet he'll find volunteers for another. Yeah, sounds like Yalmar. Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulberus first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshe Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? In Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Fishlung? Interesting. So they call him. Submerges for hours at a time. None know how he does it, but I've my suspicions. Hmm. Not too fond of him. It's nothing personal. I couldn't stand his father or grandfather either. Thanks for your help. One thing, Garrett. These caves are ruins. 
Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Whole gaggle this time. Ugh. Gods protect us. Move it! Not now. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, aye, they mentioned something. Nay, hey, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Givorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing an adventure novel. Gathering material for it. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Prime idea! Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion? Gladly, gladly. So, where's this cavern? I gotta sail east from Kertrolda. Cavern's in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and... good luck with the White Whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. Serve her who is virgin, mother, and crone. Run, Roach. Ah, that's the one. Ever fight a dragon?
Lots of bait. Heard the nails were biting yesterday. Drink last night too. Oh, I'd rather them. Going somewhere? Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalach's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstone's on Hard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yappa Ligon! We've awoken a century. I'll take care of it. I shall try to get through the barrier. <laughs> like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No, that's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely you. Hm. Really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> Didn't know he had a sweet tooth.
It seems someone was literally just here. Avalak's assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalak to have one. Hmm. A distillate? Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. Feel like I've walked into somebody's bedroom. Genealogical chart of the Enhanikir, the Elder Blood, from Laura Doran. To me? You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalak has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages? Of course not. Let's look at his notes. Gods, we spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker? Hmm. Some entries about Ciri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. See if we can't find something even more interesting. sure know their fragrances. Hmm. Mirror standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. How did you get in here? Who are you? Not your concern. Get out of here. Now. You? 
I remember you. From Tiernalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And yet you come here. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that, it's humiliating. Another word, and I'll... What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. If he hates me so deeply, why didn't he tell me to my face? Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's uh, personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me be! Siri. What? Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morn? Shame I can't do that at will because I'd really like to now. There. That's better. Let's get out of here.
Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindersfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. I'll go with you. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindersfjall? I can. Let's do this. Come back soon, all right? Mm -hmm. See you. Let's look around. Should be a relatively fresh grave mound. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn it. Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Uh, bastards. What? Here in the village, there's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skjall. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defy our laws. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofoten to ash? What would the spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, it's the only thing elders punish harder than fleeing the battlefield. And what you said. Can't know the truth of it. The gods will judge Skjall now. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. You've no idea. Well, they shouldn't spit on his name anymore. Let's go. Back to the boat. Mm. I 
that he was guilty uh. of the massacre. Shame on Lady Brack. Shame. Look! Look! Just wonderful. I see, look at this. Let's go. What now? Gonna grow yourself some new eyes, like Vilgefortz did? I remember the moment I killed him. Cultivation wasn't complete. They hadn't grown in fully yet. Looked disgusting, but... I take it your mention of that deviant is purely coincidental. Of course. Also heard of this rich blind dwarf from Mahakam. Had them put two sizable rubies in his eye sockets. Couldn't see a damned thing. But word is, it looked pretty tasteful. Show me what you got. So how do we get up the... The stairs? I'll fix them right away.
Ready. Let's go. Couldn't help notice the tension between you and Yennefer and Triss. It's very hard on Siri, I think. There are times I doubt you three realize how it looks. Triss plays the big sister to Siri, but eagerly awaits a chance to hop in bed with you. You and Yennefer play the parents. Yeah, so if you're angling to make it a five sum, there's clearly no room. It appears I must do everything for you. See the sentry who seems to be waiting for payment. I'm fresh out of change. Oh, and blood, not coin. The sentry is Fearlan of the Elven legend. Do you literally read nothing?
Yennefer must have tremendous pull with the Emperor to get him to guarantee the Lodge's safety. What's your take on it? My take? Obviously a leading question. No. Geralt, I'm tired. Let's sit and chat a bit first. Is foreplay that important to you? You'll get to work with the Emperor. Not excited? No. I, I mean, yes, of course I am. Thus far, the Lodge has oft banked on weak rulers. It's been one of our biggest mistakes. Hmm. So you're impressed Amir keeps his mages on a short leash? Yennefer's wise to keep you out of politics. I'm afraid you'd not realize which way the wind was blowing if you pissed straight into it. You ought to talk to Yennefer. Painfully clear there's unfinished business there. Yennefer's always walked her own path. I'm actually touched she decided to take an interest in matters of the Lodge this time. You don't trust her. So once the hunt's defeated, leave. Find asylum elsewhere. I hear Redania's offering. I'd sooner stick my head in a Zoogle's spiky orifice. Thanks, but I've other plans. This deal with Emir. It's sorcerous business. Pick someone else's brain. So she's not told you anything? What about personal plans? Has she mentioned anything? A possible advisory position? Beside a young, promising empress? Stay away from Ciri. She's an adult, Geralt. You keep forgetting. She can decide for herself. So, onward. Don't you think it's time you stopped interfering in Ciri's life? No. But you do know we're not a pack of wolves you can just drive away from her with your sword. Sure you are. And yes, I can, if the need arises. Wait. There's something here. Feel it? No. My medallion... A ridiculous bauble. Don't make me laugh. Tuning into elven magic is just slightly more difficult than sniffing out a malodorous fiend. Watch this. Arahan Luma! Sunstone is here. Don't stand there looking stupid. Try to shift the mirrors. Oh, Not your lucky day.
Lost. Hand it over and let's get out of here. Not so fast. We have a matter to discuss. Let me guess. You gotta fly. You're about to tell me why you need the Sunstone so much more than we do. Then you'll change into an owl and whoosh. No idea where you got such a ridiculous notion. Ciri's safety is most important to me now. But I wish to talk to you about the future. My future. I wouldn't worry. Emperor's got plans for you, I'm sure. Stop playing the jester and listen to me carefully. Once we've defeated the hunt and Ciri is safe, Yennefer's meteoric rise at the Imperial Court will come to an abrupt end. Which is wonderful from my perspective. I'm not interested in reviving the Lodge if I'm not to have the deciding vote. You're telling me this because... If I know even one bit, I expect that once we've defeated the Wild Hunt, you aim to slip out the back door with Ciri. To disappear into the wilds, correct? All very romantic. But perhaps instead of destroying the girl's life, you could take Yennefer with you and go. Triss might object. Ah, yes. So give Yennefer some friendly advice, would you? She'll listen to you. You want to take Yen's place at Amir's side. And at Ciri's. I think you understand it's inevitable. And I would truly prefer Yennefer to be far away when it happens. 
Holding her in the Imperial dungeon would be costly, and it would give the wrong impression. Any other words of wisdom, or can we go? You may go. I know you have things to do.